Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of the adoption of Oscar Z on the Amstrad CPC. And now there's a good reason why I want to review this game. Um, this is a 2020 game. This is a new game. Um, I saw Novabug review this, and it looked absolutely amazing. And not only it looked amazing, it uses the whole entire screen, which was pretty rare. Well, when I say rare, I've, I've actually never ever seen a game on the Android CPC that uses the entire screen. Always had borders. I've seen Overscan, you know, either vertically or horizontally. That's all I've seen. But the entire screen I have never seen before. Um, so yeah, this is worthy of a review. I like this. Um, I'm not one for cutscenes, by the way. I'm not one for cutscenes, but this looks impressive, and also it's impressive because this is a 64k game. I, I, I actually played this and tested this on my actual Amstrad CPC 464. Because when you download this game, you also get a tape file, CDT file, is it a CTD file, CDT file, meaning it's a tape file. So I put it onto tape and tested it on my Amstrad TPC 464. Yes, you heard me correctly, I said a tape. I loaded it from tape because I don't have a DD, DDI3 or anything like that. I don't mind loading games from tape because that's what I was used to back in the day. So it doesn't bother me any anyway. Right, so we just saw the like the comic strip there, looked rather impressive. Best with headphones, eh? Oh well, I'm playing this on, well they are going for sort of headphones because, well they are, they are going for headphones but I never wear them because, yeah, because <laughs> I don't wear them, I'm not when I'm playing games anyway. I can hear them, I've got those, volume quite low so I can just hear it. Um, I shouldn't wear any headphones actually but I don't. Anyway, let's not talk about that, let's talk about the game. So, as you can see, Dreaming Bits 2020. Yes, as I said, I've had tests of this. I've played this through an LCT TV from my original CPC. It did not look no way as good as when I tested it through my monitor, my colour monitor, the actual colour monitor that come with the Amstrad TPC 464. I don't know what the model is now, I can't be bothered to get up and look at it. Right, and it looked rather impressive on that. So, obviously this is emulation, because it's the best way I can do a recording. I know um, people will say, yeah, but it's better on your Amstrad TPC. Well, yeah, well, I have no capture device, and I'm not gonna buy a capture device. They're too fucking expensive, and how often do I use my Amstrad CPC 464 anyway? It's not worth it. I use emulation. I'm happy with emulation. If you're not, tough shit. Um, right, let's redefine the keys. Redefine the keys. Right. Left, right, jump up, slide down, action, space, exit. Right, okay, let's play the game. Rescue Mizzle. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Scrolls rather nice. And also when I played this on my LCD TV, the scrolling, I don't know, it looked a bit more jumpy, jerky. And when I played it on my um, monitor, it looked really nice. Oh, fuck's sake. So a lot of effort has gone in this game. God, imagine if you, this came out back in the dark. Could you imagine that? That'd be bloody awesome. God, could you imagine if Pinball Dreams came out back in the day? Obviously that. They might have been able to do that as a 64k game as well. Because the reason why it's 128k is because it's loading all four 
uh, tables, I think. I don't know, I'm not a programmer. But I wonder if that could have been also converted into 64K if you loaded up each each um, table individually. Obviously from tape you'll have no choice, but I wouldn't I wouldn't have minded. That's what I was used to back in the day, so it wouldn't have bothered me. Oh, so that orange gives you a springy fit. Oh fuck, I've lost another life. So the space split speeds you up. Oh fuck, I push return! So that's what it means exit. You push well, because I've configured it as return, I should have done, I should have put it a little bit further away. Oh, what's that? Oh, fuck it. They're landmines. Oh, slot. Oh, shit. Yeah, I am rather impressed with this. The reason why I'm impressed is I think it's because it uses up all the screen. And I said that's pretty rare for a CPC game. I don't even think I've ever seen a Commodore 64 game use the whole entire screen. I even think that's that's capable of overs overscan. I think I've seen some overscan games on the Commodore 64. Oh shit, push the wrong button. Oh fuck! Shame you can't fire. Shame you, you can't fire in this game. Slide! Oh. Yeah, I'm quite impressed. This just shows you the capability of the machine itself. And I've seen some quite impressive games lately. The music's quite nice. Jump! Oh shit, I burnt my ass. Oh fuck it! Right, so up the top there you can see a progress meter. Shit. I think we're only halfway through the level. Oh, shit! I think it just puts you back a little bit. It doesn't put you all the way back. No! Oh, jump! Oh, fuck it! that thing, I want that thing, I need that thing I think. It's a little flying machine. Give me that flying machine. Look at that, look at him, look at him stamping it. Give me that, I want that, give me it. Oh fuck, I've lost a life. Right, ain't put me all the way back. Good, good, good. Give me that, fuck. Oh fucking hell, you, you can't touch it. 
So how do I get it in? Hi? No, I can't touch the Oh, I know what I'm dying. I can't go into the orange thing. Oh, fucking I'm sure I push jump. Oh, you bastard. I can't even touch. So it looks like you get unlimited lives. Shit. Right. Ah! Give me that thing, you bastard. Ah, I got it, I got it, I got it. So now I can travel a little bit faster. Ah, shit, and I've lost it. Oh, get it, get it, I can't. At least we got that thing. Well, we had it. So now we're coming up to the end of the level. Right, not controlling it now. So it must be at the end of the level. Where it is? Looks like a fucking sheep. He ain't a sheep shagger, is he? Right. So now we're res trying to rescue something else. Oh! Yeah, let's talk about this. The graphics are nice and colourful. Yeah, it plays alright, you just got to get used to it. And I think you've got unlimited lives. Oh, fuck it. So as I say, you can push to exit. You've got your exit button if you want to quit out of it. But why would you want to quit out of it? You could probably spend hours playing this game. But, you know, the, the good thing about emulation, you can do save states. You can come back to it at a later date. But if you do own a, an actual CPC 464, or even a 6128 or whatever, and you've got a colour monitor or TV or whatever, definitely check it out on that. Because you would appreciate it better. Yes, I know I'm one for emulation, yes, but... I can also see the potential playing it on a real, real hardware, and it does look pretty spectacular. When you've got an original monitor, or if you've got a, maybe even a, if you've got a SCART TV, whatever. It doesn't, it, it doesn't look the same on LCD. You can't. It, it's something. It's hard to explain, but it does look better on a CRT. And yeah, when I was playing this for a TV, a normal LCD TV, it was just something up with, it's not, it wasn't moving small, it was, something wasn't right, just something wasn't right. But then again, I was playing it on a 42 inch TV, <laughs> maybe that was the case. And I was quite close to the screen, but I don't know. It's just something that didn't seem right about it. But I'm playing it, I, I, I think it's quite impressive. We've got nice music going on, and I will make this fun my last life because I could play this and play this and play this. You, as I said, you've got unlimited lives on this game, you, you're never going to run out of lives. So, yeah, I, 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 I've played this game for quite a while now. I don't usually review a game this long, well, I don't have reviewed. I have right actually, but this is quite a short game, so let's just push return. It ain't a short game, what am I fucking talking about? You could play this, you know, you could play this game as long as you, as you, as you say, as I said, you've got unlimited lives. So you will be playing it for quite a while, but I, you know, I tend to make my reviews about 10 or 15 minutes, which is on the cusp of that now anyway. So yeah, I would highly recommend it. If you've got a real computer, real round straight TPC 464 or 6128 or anything, because this is also disc as well as tape, 
obviously disc is going to take quicker to load up but because I'm used to cassettes it didn't bother me so I never had a disc drive for my Amstrad CPC 464 back in the day so trying it on cassette did not bother me one bit anyway I'm going to end this now thank you so much for watching till next time and goodbye <laughs>